in this example, we have taken rate information, which is represented by a curve on a rate versus time graph, over a time interval, and we've obtained an approximate change in the amount, which corresponds to the area under the curve. This process is integration. It's the reverse of the differentiation process, because remember, if we have the amount information, we take the derivative to get our rate function. So if we have an amount function, we take a derivative. If we have a rate function, we integrate to get an amount function. The approximation that we've made in this case by taking the average, approximate average rate over a trapezoid is called numerical integration. I haven't written the word down, but this is numerical integration because we've done it by numbers. When we do an integration as we did with the quadratic functions, taking a function at squared or uh, an mt plus b function and integrating it into a one-half mt squared plus bt plus c function, that's symbolic integration. Okay, so this is an example of numerical integration. We saw earlier an example of symbolic integration.